Right then, I'm gonna put an addition on the van that I'm gonna build myself. This could go amazingly well or amazingly wrong, but I've got an idea. Right, so I bet you guys have no idea what I'm building uh, for the van at the moment. It might go wrong, it might be ace, I have no idea whatsoever. Hello, Branston. Come and say hello to the camera. Come on, up, up. Hello, Branston, there we go. There he is, he always comes for his cuddles. Uh, so yeah, um, okay. No, it's, something, it's an idea I've wanted to put in the van for ages and um, in a useless space that you guys might be able to copy uh, and do yourself regardless of whatever van you've got. Um, so yeah, awesome sauce, it's gonna be ace. Say bye Branston, say bye. Not my face, not no. Right, me and Branston are going to do something else now. Should we go for a walk? <gasps> Should we go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? <gasps> come on then, come on then. because I'm a bit rubbish, I forgot to film some bits. Well, it's not because I'm rubbish, it's because I got into like a zone where I started doing stuff and I got like in this kind of, I don't know, groove. It was nice. Anyway, so I thought I'd update you as to where I am now um, and then I'll film some more of this. Ah, bang my finger. I'll film some more of the stuff uh, as I'm doing it. But at the moment I'm at sort of painting um, scenario. I've put the first coat of paint on um, and if you guys haven't figured out what I'm doing yet, then you're gonna have to keep watching to the end of the video. Those who have figured it out, well done. Um, but yeah, um, I put the first coat of paint on. I've um, dry fit everything before I painted it. So I dry, dry fit the uh, little cupboard doors, frames, uh, dry fit the um, shelf and everything like that. I'll show you. Here, so look, right. So this is where we're at now. This is where we're at now. So it's, I've taken all of the bits off, all of the accessories off. There's holes drilled for the likes of like a USB port, uh, which has got like a voltage reader on it, but then two USBs on there. That will go there uh, and there. There's another one. And then there's the table. Oh, I'm sorry, really close. Uh, there we go. Then there's the table, uh, which will go there, uh, which is nice. Uh, so at the moment, what I've done is, oh, I've got dust on me and on my paint. So at the moment, what I've done is I've fitted hinges and magnets, uh, so then the uh, doors can open and close and stay shut. Uh, there's gonna still be like a piece that goes across here to stop stuff from falling out because there is a slight forward angle on this top side. Uh, you'll see when it all goes in and you'll know exactly what I mean, but I'll need to do that from this side so I can screw um, 
And then, and then, yeah, it's just a case of just whitewashing and painting. I've screwed, I've drilled a hole large enough just up here for the uh, diesel heater power to go through. So the diesel heater switch is right up there, completely out of the way, ace. Um, all at the back, I can't really lift it up because it's still wet in paint. Uh, all at the back, this is all battened out of the back um, and then lined with more of this. And then there's just, yeah, it's just nice. There's a lot going on today and I'm in the zone where I'm thinking, yes, this is amazing, uh, happy days. Uh, there's a, oh, there's an LED light at the back as well, which shines down into the cupboards. The well, cupboards, the little tiny little cubby holes that I've got, because I've left the tops open, so then the light comes through. It'll all make sense when it's on the wall. I'll keep doing B-roll while I'm building bits and painting and stuff, uh, and I'll also do B-roll when I'm trying to get it into the van. Um, it's, I think it's a genius idea for my van. Uh, it might be genius for some of you guys, but yeah, this is proper. This is something I've been wanting to do for such a long time. Um, so yeah, the, uh, after painting and sorting and screwing everything back together again, once the paint's dry, it's just a case of now doing the wiring uh, and making all the 12 volt lines go where they need to go and what not. So yes, dinner time now, I think. Um, and then we'll put a second coat of paint on. Nice. So the wall is getting there. Look, little sneaky peek. Um, I'm calling it the utility wall. <laughs> um, anyway, whatever. So the next thing that's going on, and I purposely kept hold of this for a while now. I asked you guys where you thought this would be best placed in the van. Uh, loads of people said on the front of the bed. Uh, in fact, the majority of people said on the front of the bed. However, there's going to be some changes down there. So I thought, boom shakalaka. Right, so I'm pretty much done, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, there's a few little bits to do. Uh, as you saw me, I fitted that, the uh, diesel heater switches up there, the cargo nets there, and the shelves there. I've popped the uh, mats on the shelf, the uh, magnetic glass mats, so we can have uh, glasses just on there as well. Still got to put some pictures in the picture frames. Not quite figured out what I'm going to do with that yet. I don't know if it's going to be pictures of us lot, or it's going to be landscape shots, or it's just going to be nice, colourful photographs. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then, obviously, the door there and just need to put like some sort of bungee or piece of wood in there uh, just to stop things from falling out uh, because it is again it's on slight angle this way uh, but obviously the table's flat and everything looks awesome and beautiful oh, it just what it does do is it opens up this side of the van loads uh, it does make it feel more spacious more airy um, and that's one of the things uh, that i didn't like about the van it was too dark so i'm going to let you know what's happening later so, in the future plans. Oh, that's a nice sunset. You want to see that? Check that out. Lovely. Ooh, nice. Uh, so future plans are this bit here. I'm going to keep this piece of wood because it's nice. It looks really lovely. I've cut it out really well. But I'm going to put the uh, white cladding also on here. So that ties in and brightens up that area. And then what I'm also going to do is I've told you about me rebuilding this cab cabinet here because uh, it's just it's not big enough and I'm not a massive fan of it uh, but it's really useful uh, so I'm going to make it larger but I'm also going to clad it with the white so then we've got the white cladding going on all around so there's a bit of a theme uh, which I think will work a lot better um, than it just being one random white wall which we've got at the moment Either way, it's like my little utility wall. There are going to be little hooks on there and stuff like that so we can hang towels onto it and uh, keys and, yeah, loads and loads of different cool stuff. And I can't wait to get the um, 5x7 frames uh, filled up as well. Oh, it's just nice. It's nice. That's a good day's work, I reckon. A good day's work. Right, see you in a bit, guys. Mm -hmm. 